Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. This is my first ever video on YouTube. And I go by at BeerMeUpPlease on Instagram. I'm a beer reviewer that posts beer reviews every day on Instagram. Well, sometimes not every day, most days. I like to drink the beer. And there are a lot of great beer review YouTube channels out there. I started this channel because I recently got a new camera. I wanted to try out video capture. Uh, a little bit of vlogging, some reviewing, um, shooting some b-roll, things like that. So this is really a place for me to experiment, um, to shoot beer reviews uh, and to basically just get better at filmmaking. Today's review is going to be a Meg's Bomb by Arbor, an American pale ale. So the one great thing that Arbor do is provide you with whole pint cans. That's a whole 568ml. For the same price as an RB, I'll pick this up for £3.60 for a whole pint of solid beer. Um, it's an American Pale Ale, as I said. It's hopped with Simcoe, Mosaic, Yukonat, and Galaxy. Uh, and it's only 4.7% for you know an American Pale Ale, and especially uh, one of this size. Uh, that's a pretty decent. Uh, ABV uh, and for a beer that's this delicious and that comes in a pint size, uh, that's a good thing. So a little bit about Arbor Ales. So Arbor are a UK brewery uh, based in Bristol. They produce a lot of really good beers and most of them come in pint size cans which I'm a massive fan of. They offer some really good gluten free beers so if you're gluten intolerant they have you covered. Most of their beers are vegan friendly also. Arbor have been brewing beers since 2007 family owned and run microbrewery. They started out in 2007 on just a 2.5 barrel kit and now they have their own brewery in Bristol. It's brewed over several hundred beers. That's pretty insane, right? I've enjoyed a great number of their beers in the past. So I've had their Citra beer, which is a single hopped gluten-free beer. Their Shangri-La Sessionable India Pale Ale. I enjoyed I Speak for the Trees, which is uh, quite a piney American Pale Ale. It's delicious. Oz bomb, which was a massive fruit bomb that I really enjoyed. And then today, finally, I tried Meg's bomb, which again, was right up there. So enough talking about the can. Uh, let's just dive in and have a drink. So I've got the beer here. Uh, that's pretty delicious. So straight off the bat, uh, perfumey, like smells good the taste as well follows it. A little bit of juice in there, uh, but not, not too heavy, uh, not like some of the big juice hitters. Hops are well balanced, not too bitter at all. Little spiky perfumey bits um, popping up in the mouth. Um, it's overall just, I mean, just delicious. Really good Bev. I'm really happy with it. Solid beer for the first review. Really enjoyed that. That's it for this first review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for more. I'm hoping to do these weekly and once I get the process nailed, I'll be aiming to do a couple a week. Please leave your feedback below. For those of you that don't follow me already, come follow me on Instagram. I'm at beermeetup, please. Uh, there's a link down below. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and I'll uh, see you next time.